Hello everyone, welcome to Helpful Solution Tutorials and welcome to our new tutorial about Doodle, a straightforward and efficient scheduling tool perfect for organizing meeting and events. So whether you're for businesses, education or personal gathering, Doodle simplifies finding a time that suits everyone. In this guide, we'll show you how to create the Doodle poll, invite participants, and easily determine the best time for your group to meet by viewing their responses. We'll also touch on integrating Doodle with your calendar and setting up different type of pools, ideal for coordinating team meetings, planning events, or arranging family get-together. So Doodle eliminates the hassle of back and forth communication and makes scheduling a breeze. So let's dive into how Doodle can streamline your events, planning and scheduling processes. So as always, what we need to do is to go to the official website of Doodle. And right here, you'll be seeing the sign up button or create a Doodle. So you click on sign up. You'll be able to try the platform for free so you can sign up using your google account your apple account or you just enter your email address and they will send you a link to your account directly in your email now you'll have to add the name of your uh, profile that you want to create and just like that you'll be directed to this page so you can link your google account calendar sorry your office uh, 365 and your icloud can do it later so we click on do it later and let's get started by our dashboard so here <clears throat> they will ask you some questions so why you're uh, using the uh, application so you can say you're a, a student or something like that and then you click on finish and finally you'll be able to get into your dashboard so here as you can see there you can create a group poll you can create meetings a room or you can create a booking page. So let's start by choosing our time and letting people vote and find the option that suits everyone for a group poll or meeting. So you click on create and you will be directed to this page where you will be able to create your uh, poll. So here you give the poll. So for example, let's say exam of maths. So here you ask them to uh, choose the best date to have the exam. So after that, you scroll down right here and you add the location. So uh, add where are you uh, have doing the event. So let's say it is an online event like this. You can search in map. You can add the video conferencing so you can uh, have a video meeting. And now you add your timing. So you choose the timing that suits you the best from the week. Let's for example, choose uh, this one. And uh, you scroll down for more information. You can set a deadline. You can limit how many participants can select a time. So we click on this one. So you'll have to get pro to use the, those settings. Now, uh, if we scroll down here, we click on sh create and share. Then your poll is created and will be shared to uh, other people. Now you'll be able to send them maybe the link on their email address and that by sharing the invite. So we have more features. You can uh, have email invitations export the invitation or duplicate the process you can edit it and have a preview right here and you can share it so you copy the link and copy it directly in your uh, email address now here we have our account so let's go back to our dashboard now the first option was how to create a, a poll now uh, for example you can create a new booking page so what you need to do is you click on create a new booking page it will take you directly to a new page. So uh, let's click on connect calendar. You'll have to connect your calendar. So click on connect uh, calendar by uh, Gmail. Choose the mail that you want to connect it to. And now allow it to have access to your uh, email and calendar uh, data. Finally, it is connected. Now here, let's create a new booking page. So to create your new booking page, as I said, the first thing is you need to connect your calendar. Here you give uh, a name for the title of the page. And now you add a description. Let's just write anything. You can add also the lo uh, location. So let's say Algiers. You can search by map or you just add the name yourself. Here you can active the uh, video uh, conferencing. So if it's a Google Meet, you can add, for example, uh, the Zoom or directly your Google Meet account. It is connected right here. Now here you can have event duration and availability. It is the same process. So uh, 
is it does it have a uh, how we say that a limit so a period you can add no limit or you can add period like one week into the future and you can custom the uh, date range so let's add uh, the date of the start and the date of the end it will be selected right right here now those are the hours that you're available in you can activate it or deactivate it for example in weekends and you click on create and share just like that you created your first uh, preview page now if we let's click again on uh, uh sorry let's click again on create so now let's create a uh, room so here you can meet your uh, friends and participants in a private room so click on create one uh, 2.1 this means it is a room now you add the title of the occasion so let's say it is for uh, gaming now you add a uh, funny gaming description you add the location let's say it is an online so it's not in the google map or you're not going to attend physically it's gonna be online and here you add the date as usually on the calendar and you click on create and share and just like that you created also your first room so now let's go back here on our dashboard click on dashboard and let's see what we have also uh, other features so here you have your booking page you connected your calendar here you have your context so you can add a new context by clicking on add a context it will take you to this page so here as you can see you can connect your google uh, suit account from here it will extract or upload your contacts that are uploaded or uh, synchronized on your google uh, email or account now here scroll down and allow it to have access to see your download from your account directly from your phone devices it will be uploaded by email so here you uploaded all your contacts uh, let's connect our email again click on connect you can connect like many emails so this is our second email now let's go back uh, right here we can connect our office 365 etc so let's go back right here on contact let's go to the overview of our account click on overview so here as i said you have the profile of you you have the connected calendar and the contact where you can sync your contact and you have the subscription so we can review your plan and invoices and integration let's click on subscription now here you can upgrade to another plan by clicking on change or upgrade so let's click now on app and integration you'll be able to connect your zoom, uh, zoom account microsoft team account zapier and cisco webex so those were the most important features for uh, this tutorial or for this tool i would advise you really to use it it will help you organize your uh, stuff we can also check the prices before ending the tutorial so here you'll have an idea about their packages their plans and the pricing of each plan so they have the free plan the pro plan the team plan and enterprise plan when you scroll down right here you'll be able to see all the features in each plan thank you so much for watching the video and see you next time